Welcome back to my channel, guys. I could not be more confused about an anime than I am now. Welcome once again. Uh, it's time for another first impression video. This is going to be on Blue Reflection Ray, which you guys can find on Funimation. Uh, right now, there's two episodes out. Uh, I will be reacting or giving my first impressions on only the first episode. Um, if you guys want to further support the channel, you guys can always comment, like, and share. Uh, but also, subscribe. I've been watching my analytics. A lot of people are watching. They're liking. Uh, a lot of people are commenting but not subscribing. So please do subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate that tremendously. Uh, also, if you guys want to um, be appreciated like I want to be appreciated, then go check out the giveaway video that I have out in my channel. It is for you guys to get some free anime series, so go check it out. Um, and for those who are wondering what happened to my background, uh, I am moving. So uh, s the stuff that you see left over will eventually come off uh, uh, and then eventually I'll either go on a green screen or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, this is, again, can found, be found on, on Funimation, Blue Reflection Ray. Uh, follow the story of two girls, essentially, but we really just see the story of maybe one girl. And the beginning was a little confusing, uh, so much that I don't remember a lot of details out of it. Um, all I know is that this girl essentially moves into this girl's dorm and she is extremely shy, doesn't know how to talk to people, and um, she's welcome in, you know, the girls are not per se rude to her, um, but she's not really like invited to stuff, <laughs> so she's kind of left alone, like this is, this is where you sleep and, you know, do whatever you want, right, so... Uh, she ends up going to class the next day, and people kind of act like she's a weird girl, like she's very timid, so no one really wants to approach her, um, and it's kind of sad. I, 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 towards the, the episode, she goes to a store and buys a book of basically um, how to talk to people. It's, it's, it's that extreme. She needs to read a book about how she can talk to people. Um, in all this commotion, we meet this one girl who um, she, she, in her eyes thing she's popular she's liked but in reality she she's only liked because she's able to buy things so she's rich and only like because she's pretty and she at one point expresses that to her like you know it doesn't seem all like what it looks like right you think like i'm all popular and you know everyone wants to be me but it's not like that there's something deeper down inside so um which personally, that that was actually an interesting uh, take to that. But, um, anyways, it, after that, we see um, quite a bit of a scene when it comes to just um, her um, figuring out a ring that she found that was dropped by this one one girl that was passing by we don't know we know know much about that one girl but she found this ring it's a it's a triangle ring and she puts it on and it seems like or she, she, actually i don't think she actually puts it on i think she just holds it but it seems like each time she has contact with it there is like a, a realm that's opened or she has like a flashback um and anyway she goes home and she's reading the book and one of her uh, doormates ends up going in through the window and uh, they end up having a flashback. They, they do a contact, both of them, and they have this weird encounter together where they both have flashbacks and they're like, okay, what was that? Um, and uh, they just kind of freak out, but then they kind of bond through that. Uh, the next day comes and they start talking in school. Like she actually has someone to talk to, which is cool. Um, and she gets to see how her new friend is compassionate. You know, there's at one point there's seems like there's a girl crying and she goes like, she just sprints to her and says, are you okay? And she's like, Hey, she's okay. She only has dust in her eye. So, you know, she, she starts to see the very compassionate side of her friend and how she is, you know, she's not really doing it for anything else than being nice. So, um, this is where it gets a little bit weird because uh, there's another girl that we had seen, but I didn't really know who she was other than I knew that she was a villain. 
but she ends up kidnapping the rich girl, the one that we talked about just a moment ago. And everything goes into this weird realm where everything is paused, and except for the villain, uh, and then except for the two girls that have the rings, and then the, the, the third girl who dropped the ring. Um, and there's not really much of a fight other than the compassionate girl saving the rich girl from falling off a building and then eventually transforming into a magical girl. And that's about it. Like, it didn't, they didn't really explain what the realm was. They didn't really explain if these are magical girls. They didn't explain who the villain was. There's a lot of open-ended questions that I was very, very much concerned and wanted to know more, but it, it, it they didn't. So, uh, out of all that, I got that it's probably going to be a magical girl anime where they meet new girls in their school who either have issues or concerns or are going through some stuff and they end up saving them from these villain girls. Uh, I would I would assume that the anime is constructed in the way where episode by episode we'll learn more about the realm. You know, and that's that's kind of a lot of animes are like that. So I shouldn't be too hard on it for that. What I will be hard on is the the animation style. I wasn't the biggest fan of the animation style. It really really reminded me of like uh, early 2010, early 2000, you know, tens around that era, maybe, maybe 2006 uh, era. It, it seemed like it was not even part of this year, and I was very, very much. I, even now, I'm looking at, at my phone I'm like, is it from this year? It is from this year. So, uh, I wasn't a big fan of the animation, uh, but what we'll, we'll just, you know, some people might like it. I don't know, and and I, I've I've noticed. Uh, especially right now during the pandemic, some companies have been cutting back on stuff and it could be that, or it could be that that's the choice the director went with. And I personally thought it was a poor choice. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, there's a giveaway. Go check it out. Thank you for your love and support guys. I will see you, uh, with the next video. I don't know if I'll have another one today, but we'll see. Thank you again for your love and support. And like always. Don't be strangers. See you guys.